Today is the traditional practice in my family. Actually, I don't know how to call it in English, but I think that you may understand it through my description. There are five female members in my family, including my mother, my grandmother, my two elder sisters, and me. But there is only one person that the other four can call expert in dating, because at least she had gone through the so-called sweet and bitter experience in dating once in her life. <laughs> it means that the other four haven't been through any dating yet. <laughs> so at this time, you might, may, may wonder, how can my grandfather and my grandmother got married? And how can my parents decide to be life partners without learning each other before the marriage? The answer is, their parents told them that dating is really dangerous, complicated, and it can lead to unexpected results. <laughs> <laughs> so a girl should avoid any place that boys are around, because boys are dangerous every time and everywhere, even in public or non-public place. <laughs> so a girl just to stay home and wait for the marriage that the parents arrange for them. I and my two elder sisters are the latest generation of that traditional family, but we live in this modern life. We have to escape from that stupid thinking. Well, <laughs> luckily, my grandmother is not good at English. <laughs> but thing had not been through, has not been brought, gone right as expected. You know, my, my grandmother told my, repeatedly told my two elder sisters, because at that time it's just a little girl, she told them, you guys should stay at home. And dating is the first thing you must avoid. Are you clear? <laughs> but I think that it didn't affect me at all. It's like my philosophy lesson, which can go from my right ear to my left ear, and nothing remain here. But actually, actually, it existed here, and it's getting bigger and bigger over the years. And now, the most important thing that I have to struggle to get rid of it. And you know, maybe you can think that, wow, dating is easy. Easy, it's easy. Why? Why does it have to be so serious? But just imagine a thing that you believe for, say, over 10 years, and now you realize it's wrong, it's not correct. So how can you, leave, you, 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 you remove it? Yeah, it's not that easy. I have to change my mindset, and I have to think about it a lot. OK, let me tell you another story. When I was in grade five, I liked the most handsome boy in my class. Grade yeah. five? <laughs> yes, grade five. Yes, I'm, I'm truly a girl emotionally and physically, of course. <laughs> and, but with all the innocence of a little girl, I, I, I think that it's more a one-sided love, so I didn't tell him anything. And when we was in grade nine, he confessed that he, he has liked me for four years. Oh my god, I was so happy. But that immediately created 10,000 things to worry about. And finally, I decided to tell him, I'm sorry, boy. <laughs> okay, not that boy. I'm sorry, boy, I have to focus on my study and dating is just unnecessary and stupid. But, but I, I like him, you know? I, I just say that, oh, dating is unnecessary and stupid. And so after some, some years later, some other boys also asked me to have a date with them. But I just took it as simple as repeating the same thing with, with the first one. I think it's also the reason why until now I haven't had any chance to do this. Because whenever boys come up to me, and they can read something in my face. <laughs> but I'm not worried though. I'm still young. I'm still young. And dating is just unnecessary and stupid. <laughs> Until one day when my sister, who just come to a foreign country, she called me, oh my baby, you should have an experience of dating before getting married. You know? Because, you know, she hasn't gone through any dating. 
No. <laughs> and she just changed her mindset when she come to foreign country. And then she called me and advised me. And from, from that time on, I think that dating, oh, oh, dating now is more important to me. And I decided to uh, research. I <laughs> is my roommate. Oh, and she, and, um, she asked me, so what is your criteria for your expected boyfriend? <laughs> and I, I said, oh, really simple. Just handsome, clever, and most importantly, clean and white. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she said, oh my god, it's just like a washing powder advertising. <laughs> there are more gays than men who can meet your requirements. <laughs> and maybe watching too many Korean movies and just think about dating, not, not have the practical idea about it. I myself created many assumptions and theory about it. Actually, I don't like theory though. You can check it through my grade at university. I don't like theory. <laughs> but when it comes to love, I like I'm stuck in it. I'm I'm really silly and I just think, I just create assumptions. I don't have any practical idea about it. And now I realized that every girl deserves to be loved and should have the practical experience to explore our inner feeling about dating. And I think dating is really, um, is really necessary now. <laughs>